Are you someone who doesn't like wearing suits because you feel constricted in it or because they require a little bit more maintenance than jeans and a t-shirt? Kevin, I know you're going to be watching this, so I'm talking about you. For everybody watching, that's my twin brother. He's not a fan of wearing suits. Like many people, he feels like they're uncomfortable. So this suit, the X suit, is perfect for you, Kevin, and people like you. Welcome to the Dad Bod. This is the X suit from House of X. Back in 2018, these guys did a Kickstarter and an Indiegogo to raise money to be able to take this suit from prototype to being able to manufacture these worldwide. Their goal was 50,000 and they raised $650,000. Currently, the House of X has two suit options, the 2.1 and the 3.0. I'm going to be reviewing both of them, showing you the suits and the features. I'm going to do the 3.0 today and I'm going to do the 2.1 in a few weeks. And then I'm going to do a third video comparing both of them side by side to help you decide which one's best for you, your style, and your needs. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. That way you don't miss out on the series. And also, take a second down below to let us know how we're doing and if you like the content we're providing. When you like, comment, and subscribe, it encourages YouTube to share our content with a wider audience. It's totally free and it helps us to be able to keep making content that helps you. Here is the finished product. This is the X-Suit 3.0. It's available in graphite, midnight blue, and then this one here, jet black. I've got a link in the video description to the suit so that way you can see more specs and more details. As of today, you can get the jacket in sizes 34 through 52 and the trousers from size 26 through 44. For me, I went with the 52 jacket, 42 trousers. Now, I was a little bit nervous. They didn't offer long sizes as an option, and I normally need to get the long sizes to ensure that the jacket and the sleeves fit me properly, because I'm six foot three. I was worried for nothing. This fit great right out of the box. Me personally, I wish they offered a size 54. It would have given me a little bit more room to get the underarms lifted a bit. It's something that I do with my suits to help accentuate that V shape. However, this suit looks and feels great. It's become one of my more commonly recommended suits whenever I'm asked. The trousers do come unhemmed to allow you to have them sized to your preference. So I did need to take them to the tailor. Something to note, they do offer reimbursement of up to $20 in store credit for the cost of getting the trousers hemmed. This one, the 3.0, is unlined and unconstructed. It helps being able to make it super stretchy and also machine washable. It's made with synthetic fabrics, but it uses the highest quality of these. 60% viscose, 31% polyamide, and 9% elastane. Now, you've heard me say before that oftentimes synthetic fabrics are used in some suits to reduce the price of the suit. That's not the case here. They chose these fabrics in high quality to give the suit the features that you're about to see. With many other traveler suits, the fabric is quite thin. It shows the indents on the seams right through it on the shoulders. It's, it's a little bit more informal. This one has a nicer fabric. It's a little bit thicker, more robust, feels like great quality, and the fabric is twice as soft as wool. The seams are permanently fused to allow it to be so stretchy without ripping the seams. Now, when you do stretch it, you may hear some creaking. That only happened for me the first couple of times. It sounds kind of like the seams are breaking, but they're not. And if by some chance there is an issue with your suit, it comes with a one year warranty. The stretchy fabric is gonna allow you to do a lot more in your suit. Now, when you wear a suit normally, you have certain limitations. If it's buttoned, you're not gonna be able to lift your arms up over your head. You won't be able to do things like yoga or play basketball in a suit. And you gotta be careful when dancing so that way you don't rip the pants. Have you ever seen a Jackie Chan or a James Bond movie? They have to make those suits special so that way Jackie and 007 can move around as much as they do when they're fighting bad guys. In this suit, you could do all of those things. Yes, you can be a vigilante in this suit. It's got the style and the features to help you make that a reality, but I wouldn't advise it. The fabric repels stains and liquids to help reduce how often you have to wash it, which is gonna help the suit last longer. Check this out. The water is repelled and any little bit that stays wipes right off. The days of worrying about spilling your coffee or a drink while you're out with friends after work are gone. The suit is wrinkle resistant. It's right out of the box. This thing had almost no wrinkles. I normally have to steam my suits or take them to a dry cleaner when I first get them. Not this one. This helps me to be able to pack it easily in a suitcase or a backpack when I'm traveling for work. When I get to where I'm going, I just take it out, hang it up, and it's good to go. If for some reason you do want or need to iron this, you can, but only on the lowest iron setting. However, it shouldn't need much. This suit, you don't dry clean. You wash it in your normal washing machine in cold water and then hang dry it in the shade, or in my case, on the shower curtain rod. 
Because of all this, it's something that you can wear more often. With most suits, you can only wear it just so many times before you need to get a dry clean. And then the dry cleaning bills are gonna add up over time. Plus, the more you clean clothing, the faster they wear out over time. With this, you don't have to clean it as often because it's stain repellent, and you can clean it in cold water, hang dry it, which is more gentle to your clothing. It's gonna help these suits last much longer, and it's gonna save you money. Now. Normally in a suit, you try not to have too much in your pocket, whether it's because you don't want your pockets to look bulky or because in a suit, you're at a higher target for a pickpocket. This suit takes care of that. The jacket has three inside pockets, two of which are secured with a zipper, and then it's got three outer pockets. Just to note, the outside jacket pockets do come stitch closed, which is common for most suits. It's pretty easy to get it opened with a pocket knife or a seam splitter. If you're not comfortable doing that, a tailor will sometimes do it for free. Other times, maybe just five bucks. The jacket is single-breasted with a single button. It's got notch lapel of normal width, and then it's got four buttons on each sleeve. The trousers have a two-button closure with a zipper. They have two back pockets with buttons, two side pockets, and then it's got this side zipper pocket. So the suit's got three pockets that zip up to help you keep things like your wallet, billfold, ID, passport, and even your cell phone more safe. Again, check the link in the video description to see for yourself. All in all, it's a great suit. It gives you more freedom to move around and to do more things while wearing it. It's gonna last longer, it's gonna be able to be worn more often, and it looks dapper. If you're curious about other traveler suits with similar technology, check out my review of the Scene Studio travel suit right here. And once it's done, I'm gonna add a link to the other egg suit video right underneath. So check them out and I'll see you there.